day. Having a good Wednesday so far? I know I am. It's been a fantastic Wednesday thus far. So I hope, you know, it's at least half as good as my Wednesday. Because I feel like that would still be a pretty solid Wednesday. And, you know, even I guess if you are having a bad day, well, well. Turn, to your or turn to your left, turn to your right, wherever you keep your CBD, crack open that bottle, crack open the topical, whatever you're using, crack it open, take some CBD right before we get started with another episode of Wellness Wednesday. This is episode 170. Teen. Holy wow. crap. Bonkers. Look at us go. 117 episodes. And you want to know why we've been able to achieve 117 episodes? Because each and every single one of you guys for supporting us along the way. Um, oh, I guess I need to add um, that flash sale. I don't know if you guys saw. Well, I'm actually let me before I start talking about this. Let me actually see who's in here so I can actually see everyone and say hello to everyone. R D Kissy Kissy Lovey Lovey, my man. Thank you, thank you. Kisses right back, my man. Um, yeah, I. My bad for um, not. Talk, speaking with you, man, a day kind of got away from me, but let's schedule the time either by the end of this week or early next week to chat because um, I, I think I do actually need to order some more Pinnacle products and I definitely do want to uh, the gummies. So, perfect. Hello, Lindsay. Whoa, what are these check marks? Was the original mark? What the fuck? Why is that saying that? This comment was originally marked as spam. Do you see that? Mine did it too. Yeah. Why is it doing that? Mm -hmm. Yo, do you guys see that? Like the little, like when you guys comment on something, it has like a little check mark, um, and then it says, like Margie said, "Hey, my guys," and there's a green check mark in the bottom right, and it said this comment was originally marked as spam, and I don't understand it. Like, can you guys see um, those comments? Like, can you guys see Margie? Like even Lindsay saying, "I need to find my CBD." Like, what is going on? This is so weird. You can't see that, Lindsay? Nope, nope, nope. Hello, Rebecca Day. Um, yeah, Lindsay, I mean, like, watch. If you switch over to the uh, Wellesy page, like you were commenting under Wellesy, you might be able to see that. But, like, I've never seen that before. Like, even RDs, when he blew a kissy face, that had the green check mark saying it was originally marked as spam. So, um, RD, I guess uh, Marky Mark is um, flagging your kissy emojis at me. He doesn't want you showing your love to me. It's a little messed up. Margie, hello. Good to see you. RD, I'm on your time whenever it's best. Yeah, my man, I'll, I'll uh, circle back with you and we'll, we'll set up a time. Because um, I was just in the warehouse looking at stuff and... There are some pinnacle products that I do need to see. Uh, Margie, nope, no check mark on my side. Yeah, that's weird. Like, can you see it on yours? Yeah, at the top, at the beginning, yeah, comments, but nothing at the end. Yeah, like you, like all the recent comments are fine. It was just like the ones at the very beginning, like super weird. I, I have no idea, uh, Lindsay. I honestly, you, I don't know how much you'll find into it, find out about that because I mean, Facebook doesn't really like. They're, yeah, they're not like, they don't roll out a feature and be like, all right, let's post a blog post and be very transparent to all our users. No, they deceive us. And then, you know, you just know you're doing something wrong when a post or something gets taken down. Other than that, their terms and conditions are super vague. Um, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Just uh, don't get me started on that, especially when it comes to, like advertising or even CBD companies. Their terms of service say nothing about CBD specifically. They just say illicit drugs and substances. So, in Mark Zuckerberg's eyes, CBD and hemp products are illicit drugs and substances. <laughs> but I get targeted with bullshit ads all the time. <laughs> like, oh, let me let let me let you run a targeting ad for some alcohol. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, perfect. I just wanted to make sure you guys could actually, like, see the comments. So, all right, guys. So, make sure you guys are, uh, you know, asking questions, tagging friends, and sharing this live stream. Doing all three of those things. And, of course, liking the Wellesley page will enter you into the giveaway. But 
the more times you comment, the more times you share, the more entries you gain into the giveaway. So at the end of the show, we will randomly sort through all of that engagement and then it'll spit out a winner and are actually winners. We'll see how many we give away and then that's how we pick. So make sure you stick around until the end to claim your prize. I mean, we've got like what, a Stormy Daniels pre-roll, the Wellesley Blueberry CBD Oil, the Eclipse Strawberry Delight, Tincture, the Wellesley Unflavored CBD Additive, and one other things, uh, or one other thing, not things, one other thing that I want to share with you guys is I we are on just the well on the Wellesley branded products, you know, the Super Chews, the um, Wellesley CBD oil line, you know, the grape, apple, blueberry, strawberry, unflavored, or our full spectrum tinctures, or our bath bombs, we are running a 30% off flash sale. So if you use that coupon code WELLAC30, um, then, oh, there you go. Look at you go. Oh, there you go. Cam just has a little template saved for whatever I say. Uh, yeah, 30% off WELLAC branded products. So yeah, that'll, it's just, uh, that it's good through, uh, it expires on Sunday. So uh, make sure you guys take advantage of it. So Cam is gonna be posting that in here in just one sec. And, and so, yeah, guys, today we're actually be talking about, you know, how the human and animal endocannabinoid systems vary. Yes, I get it. We're all mammals, you know, like dogs, cats, humans. We're all mammals. But, you know, the endocannabinoid systems between me and my pug puppy, Rocky, do slightly vary, you know. And it, what it really comes down to is, like, dosing and stuff. And so, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys are starting to or already have been giving CBD to your pets. So I just want to make sure you guys fully grasp and understand everything that you need to when it comes to giving your pets CBD products. Because just like when you want to take a CBD product and you do your due diligence, you should also take that same focus on doing your due diligence when it comes to giving your pet CBD products. And, you know, I mean, I know a lot of pet owners that are more cautious about what they give their pets than what they consume themselves. Oh no, my pet is vegan, organic only, and then this dude, this person over here is just munching down Mickey D's cheeseburgers. Hey, nothing wrong with those kinds of people, but I'm just saying, there are a lot of people that I feel treat their pets a little bit better than they treat their bodies. Nothing wrong with it, you know. Hey, do you, boo boo? Pets are, I mean, I look at my dogs, they're part of the family, so I, I get it, you know. That, that's why vets just, vet, being a vet, that's a brilliant business model. You can charge a lot of money and people will pay it because people always want to save their pets. So, I just want to make sure that we, we talk about this a little bit. Um, yes, thank you, Lindsay, for sharing that. Um, Margie, do you have your own pre-rolls yet? Um, no, Margie, I don't. Um, I'm kind of focusing on some other aspects that require capital to grow the business. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing that. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, guys, there's countless. If I'm going to roll down another product, I want it to be unique. Everybody has a pre-roll now. So it's like, why don't I just sell you guys high-quality third-party brand. It's like, I would love, you know, to have a, a Wellesley strain, but it's like, I'm not going to roll out a Wellesley flower with a Bubba Kush. Everybody has a Bubba Kush. Yeah. You know, it's like, there's only X amount of strains that you can play with. If they're all grown similar, yeah, they have slightly vary in potency, but the cannabinoid profile stuff is going to be very, very similar. So, um, you know, th that's why I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on some other products. You know, I'm just kind of seeing what's going to happen with some, the CBN market, you know, Delta eights coming on the market. So there's just a lot of things that I'm kind of paying attention to. And, you know, I, I'm trying to find a place that will really make Wellesley stand out. If I rolled a Bubba Kush pre-roll, that doesn't make Wellesley stand out from anyone else in the market. So um, that's kind of where my head's at right now, Margie. I mean, we're not, stop, we're not stopping rolling out products. I'm just more selective about the product types we roll out. Yeah, everybody had a CBD gummy, but look, I rolled out a 35 milligram gummy instead of a 10 milligram gummy, um, you know? Uh, it's like when we rolled out the flavored line, like, I mean, we were, there weren't nearly as many fly by night companies when we started in early 2017 versus post 2018 farm bill where everybody's getting into it. So, um, you know, I just, this market is already extremely saturated. I don't want to roll out products that are just going to further saturate the market. I want them to be, um, unique. 
I want them to uh, be forward thinking, you know? Um, so yeah, it's kind of where my head's at, Margie. I kind of went on a long sort of tangent talking about that, but hey, that's what you guys show up here for is to chat, right? All right, so Wellness Wednesday 117, how the human and animal endocannabinoid systems differ. All right, so when we talk about the things that make CBD so unique and capable of creating widespread effects, okay, uh, what we're really talking about is the endocannabinoid system. And hold on, guys, actually, I forgot. What the? Dude, my brain is, dude, I am all over the place. I forgot about Instagram. Can't forget about the InstaFam. Damn. I know, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Doing my best with what I have, okay? All right, so there we go. Look, Instagram took two seconds to go up, okay? All right, so, you know, that is the bodily, you know, the endocannabinoid system is the bodily system that utilizes cannabinoids to produce various results that impact basically every system within the body. How many of you guys, let me ask you, if this is your first time or maybe you need a refresher, like, do you guys all know what the endocannabinoid system is or at least what the purpose of it or what its main goal is in your body and why... The endocannabinoid system always comes up whenever you're talking about using CBD and the potential effects that you can experience with it. If you have a, a question about the endocannabinoid system, let me know, okay? If there's any time, if there's ever a time where I'm talking about a term or I'm talking about something hemp related or something internally, you know, like the endocannabinoid system, terpenes, whatever, there are no stupid questions here, guys. I'm not kidding like i get so many emails where people are like oh they try to preface it saying like oh i'm a cbd newbie sorry for the stupid questions and i always respond like there's no stupid questions because guess what we have all started out as newbies at one point in time i mean fortunately for you guys i was a newbie before you and here we are the wellacy is the result of that so you know, I, I understand. I've been in your guys' shoes. And, you know, at that time when I was looking, it's like there wasn't all of this readily available information. There wasn't a company that was spending at least four hours a week on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, live streaming, directly communicating with their customers and educating their customers. There's a hell of a lot of selling going on in this industry, but there's a very small, minute amount of educating actually going on do you know how many people guys i'm telling you be cautious like i have been calling on a, of my, me and my sales team have been calling on a lot of shops now a lot of these shops that are just popping up because they oh cbd is the next big thing and i call them the first thing is is they say send us samples i want to taste the flavor they say nothing there's two different ways somebody's saying send me samples i want to taste the flavor bro you're in it for the wrong reasons or the guy that says, guy or gal, excuse me, that says, send me samples, I want to send it in for testing. That is a customer that cares about the quality of the product that they're selling, not the flavor of it. Of course, you know, yeah, flavor comes into it, but the person asking for testing or a samples to send it up for testing, those are the people you want to buy from. But I'm telling you guys, there are a lot of shops out there that we've been talking to that buy off option one. I just want to, does it taste good? They don't give a shit. They want the cheapest price and a good tasting product. They don't give a shit about the quality. That never comes up. So be careful, guys, okay? So make sure you guys do If you're buying from a shop, I, I love the BMA, uh, the, uh, the brick and mortars. You know, I, I love them. You know, we work with a ton of them. I love them all. But just be cautious, especially if it's a lot of new ones, you know. Make sure you know the company and, you know, not everybody is in it to educate and actually wanting to help people. A lot of people are getting into this industry now because it's a money grab. All right. Sorry for all these tangents, guys, but this is stuff that I just come across throughout the week. And I just like to share it with you. And if you guys think it's stupid, just tell me to shut the shut the hell up. Um, I almost said the F word, whatever. Um, but. Yeah, it, you know, so I, I just hope it does bring you guys some value. I hope my ranting isn't just ranting. It, it brings you guys some substance and value. So, um, you know, all mammals... So what's also fascinating about the endocannabinoid system is that it doesn't only exist in humans. All mammals have this system and it serves the same function. This means that all mammals can utilize the process um cannabinoids in the same process cannabinoids in the same way which is why the pet cbd market is starting to really boom 
All right, so our goal here is to take a closer look at the endocannabinoid system, both as it applies to humans and our four-legged friends. We know that a lot of people want to start giving their pets CBD. If that's you, say, I want to start giving my pets CBD, or if you already do, let us know in the comment section. So we'll really examine how this system works in their bodies as well as ours. Now, guys, CBD, cannabinoids, and the hemp plant. Before we talk about the endocannabinoid system, let's first discuss cannabinoids themselves. CBD is a cannabinoid, and it's the most prominent compound in the hemp plant. Do you got something to say? JB, I'm on man. Hell yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed those uh, daily dose syringes. JB Geiler, I love you, man. He said, screw flavor, what works? Um, oh, we got Lindsay Hipple on Instagram. I'm buying raw hemp flour today. Well, she thinks are great, and I can't wait for concert. Yeah, I was supposed to get them today. Like, the dude was supposed to, like... I had like dab devices that I was going to release and show you guys, concentrate, dab them with you, um, but he got tied up and he, he was, because it's a local company, so I was like, dude, just meet me, like don't ship it to me, bro, like meet me, I won't, hand it to me, hand me my order, so um, he, he got held up, I mean at this point I should have shipped it, um, but hopefully I can have them by Friday, not making promises, I'm kind of just at the mercy of them at this point, so. But as you guys know, um, the concentrates are starting to go up on the website, and we've already started to sell some of them. All right, sorry, go ahead. Are you going to? Yeah, I, sorry, I had to reply to the Instagram people, you know. Um, perfect, all right, go ahead. Go ahead, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. However, there are over 100 cannabinoids that can actually occur in hemp, including other popular ones like CBN, CBC, CBG, and THC. What? Not THC. Did you just say that word? Yeah, I did. Get the hell out of here, dude. The There's no THC. No THC talk. All THC. No, talk. no, no. <laughs> cannabinoids are not unique to hemp and other cannabis <sighs> plants, but only cannabis has such a wide array and such high volume of cannabinoids within its plant material. That's why we choose cannabis when we're seeking out the unique effects of cannabinoids. Ooh, the unique effects of cannabinoids. That's what I said. All right, just had to make sure I heard him properly. Uh, Chipina, hello on Instagram. I don't know if I said that right, but, you know. Hello! Welcome. Is my, is my energy levels a little too sky high for you guys right now? Yeah. Is it contagious? Is it putting a smile on your face? Because that's why I do it. Well, all right, it's just how I am. All right, so what is so unique about cannabinoids, ladies and gentlemen? Can anybody answer that for me? <laughs> well, this is where the endocannabinoid system comes in, okay? The endocannabinoid system, you'll see this referred to as the ECS Okay, endo can E, endo, C, cannabinoid, S, system. Look at that, E, C, S. <gasps> Boom! Mind blown. I know Cam's mind was blown <laughs> too when I told him what E, C, S meant. What? Or no, it was um, um, T, L, D, R. Too long, didn't read. Or N, S, F, W, not yeah, safe for work. Yeah, that's, that was it. I was Did like, you know what T, L, D, R meant? I've never even heard that one. Really? So. You've never been reading a blog post and it'll be like T, L, D, R and it'll just like summarize it in three sentences? I probably have seen it. Yeah. It just didn't like... It didn't click because people head. on the internet skim, so they know like, all right, they'll just read this. So, what is so unique about cannabinoids? I'm glad you all ask. Okay, um, well, this is where the endocannabinoid system comes in. The endocannabinoid system is the bodily system. Yes, I said bodily system internally that accumulates cannabinoids like CBD and other ones and utilizes them for various purposes. The endocannabinoid system was only discovered in, actually in the 90s and the research regarding it was used to determine whether or not cannabis plants are actually medicinally useful. Guys, they were trying to prove the harmful effects of cannabis and in the process they discovered the endocannabinoid system completely disproving what they were trying to study Showing that there is benefit to using Idiots. cannabinoids. Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. I would have loved to have been in that lab and seen the lab text. It's like, what the fuck? This is the complete opposite answer. What are we going to tell the president? The war on drugs is a joke now? <laughs> um... Since the discovery, we have learned more and more about this fascinating system, which has a lot to do with the fact that the medical industry is just beginning to take cannabis seriously. 
If it weren't for the discovery of the endocannabinoid system, we may not have a legal CBD market as well as med medical marijuana throughout the country. Think about that, guys. The endocannabinoid system helps maintain homeostasis, balance, and equilibrium. That is the mission, the goal of the ECS. The endocannabinoid system does this through regulatory actions, but in order to do its job, it needs cannabinoids. You know, your body produces its own cannabinoids, endocannabinoids, that are used with this system, but like many naturally occurring self-produced compounds, most of us need a boost. Clinical endocannabinoid deficiency is actually a thing. We've done it, we've discussed it on Wellness Wednesday. So you see, the endocannabinoid system can, consists of a large web of cannabinoid receptors that are, you know, located throughout your body, in the digestive tract, you know, the skin, immune system, brain, heart, blood vessel, and more. So, you know, that's why when you take these products, people are able to potentially experience a wide variety of improvements, and it's the same goes with pets. You know, I keep talking about you, I'm referring to you, but I'm also, when I'm talking about this stuff, it's also in reference to animal endocannabinoid systems you know your pet your do or your dog your cat horses all right horses um horses 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 so you know when your body receives cannabinoids the endocannabinoid system scoops them up and sends them to where they are most needed throughout the body your body's that smart cannabinoids can then bind you know with these or influence the cannabinoid receptors that correspond to the areas in the body that need to be regulated in order to operate properly so the ecs intelligently stores these cannabinoids for later use if they are not needed for the administ for administration so that's why you know it's not like you're gonna be like having like withdrawal symptoms after taking cbd um you know you're not just gonna keep building up an in insane tolerance like every time you take you're gonna have to keep taking more and more and more you know your body stores the excess reserves and then de pulls them out and delivers them to specific areas throughout your body that need the most relief so you know at the end of the day guys cbd is considered non-toxic to mammals because excess levels are you know simply put aside and stored for later use Hi, Don Miller Daughtry. Hello, hello. Hello, Junebug. How you doing, bro? I don't think he's here anymore. Yeah, well, whatever. We'll say hello to Junebug. Hello, Nate. How you doing, my man? Go ahead. Regulatory actions of the endocannabinoid oh. system. You like that? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. We said that the endocannabinoid system can regulate every bodily process. But what does that mean exactly? What tell me, Cam. Tell me. Yeah, let me. Let me. Let me spit. Spit some, some knowledge, truth. Dude. I'm about to spit some facts on you. Let's do it. Quick. Let's do it. All right, y'all ready go for this? Cam. No, 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 go, no. Cam. Well, if go you research CBD before, then you can come across ample amounts of studies showing that it offers all kinds of unique properties to the body. You've likely seen studies discussing its effects on pain, mood, cognitive function, and even immunity. Because CBD regulates bodily processes, you're simply you're simply supporting the immune system's ability to do its job whenever you take CBD. Any area of the body that needs regulation will have cannabinoids sent to it. This is why CBD offers such a wide range of effects. Oh, that is why. So, you know, really the difference between the, an the hu humans and animals, ECS, is, you know, every mammal's endocannabinoid system fulfills the same role. This means that your cat or dog has cannabinoid receptors that correspond with different bodily processes and then that taking CBD will allow the cannabinoid to bond with these receptors to force regulatory actions to take place. Now, this is where stuff really differs, okay? This is as a, why, as of now, there are no known incidents of CBD toxicity in pet as of right now, okay? Um, there is one thing though that you should keep in mind. The ECS in your cat or dog is smaller than the one in your own body so that means you just if you say eden i take 33.3 milligrams twice a day that does not mean that your little 10 pound cat needs to be stuffed full with 66 milligrams of cbd per day with pets it comes down to really when it comes down to dosing with pets it's based off body size I think it's, you know, 0 0.5 up to 2 milligrams, 1 to 2 milligrams of CBD per pound of body weight. You know, I've seen it in kilogram, kilograms, so what is that, like 3.2 pounds, 2.2 pounds? I think a kilo is a 
kilogram. I don't know. I, I don't. Know I don't remember. I'm like confusing myself. But anyways, so we'll stick with pounds, okay? I know pounds. Um, you know, so about you know 0.5. I've seen on different studies. I've seen even going down to 0.5 to up to two milligrams of CBD per pound of body weight. You know, so when you're starting to dose your pets out with CBD products, guys, it's very very important that you start with a low dose, and that you start with a very small amount. You know, if you got, like, my Rocky, my 10-pound pug puppy who's seven months old, I, you know, he uses, I give him, I shouldn't say he uses, <coughs> I mean, he loves, he, he licks it out of the out of the dropper. Jesus. He comes to me, Dad, can I please have some Wellesie? <laughs> um, but, no, so, like, I give him the Wellesie full spectrum. Uh, I mean, this is chocolate mint that I'm pointing to, so excuse me. 250 milligram natural right here. I give him that but I don't give him a full dropper full of it. I don't give him 8.33 milligrams of CBD. I give him a quarter dropper of that, which I believe I can't call off the top of my head. Good thing I got it right here. It's 2.08 milligrams of CBD is what I give Rocky. And it works for him. Chills him out. You know? So that's why I start low. And I found, you know, a quarter dropper of the 250 works very, very well. So, I mean... If you were doing that, if you had, if you had a dog, you know, the same size or cat the same size, and you bought the Wellesley 250 Natural, and you were giving your dog or cat a quarter dropper just like a day, like I give Rocky, it's gonna last you what four months out of your pet. So just be careful, guys, out there when you're buying pet products. Whenever we're talking about CBD for pets, I always had to bring this up. There are. Do you know how many pet products I see on the market? that are 100 milligrams, maybe 200 milligrams that are 40, 50 bucks. Look at the ingredients. MCT oil, full spectrum hemp extract. Guys, I'm, some guy did it the other day. He came and bought the um, the Koi spray for pet, the Koi pet spray. And I brought, he was sitting outside and I brought it out to him and he's like, what's it taste like? I was like, you know, it's just like the natural profile. Dude, I was so impressed by this guy. He literally pops the bottle open. Mind you, there's pets all over. There's dogs and cats all over it. What's he do? He pops it open, sprays it right in his mouth. And I was like, man, I'm so happy to see you do that because a lot of people don't understand that these ingredients that are in pet products are the same pro ingredients that are in the human products. But most of the time, companies do roll out a pet tincture line and they upcharge their customers. Again, it's the whole vet theory, you know? Charge them a little more because they'll pay it because they love their pets. I'm here to let you know about the BS that's going on. So just be careful, okay? All right. Any questions so far, ladies and gentlemen? What? Always yeah, I know it's uh. Yeah, man, you know, hey. None of the Carlisles. Yep, it's just a uh, it's a slow little um day on All Wellness Wednesday. So I mean, it's looking like the giveaways and maybe the show might not be that long today. So uh, you know, I was hoping that you know I could incentivize some people with a thirty percent discount code for a nice little Wellesley flash sale. Cause I always have a special, you know, people always like say, eat and I miss the sale. And I'm like, okay, well I'll just randomly run these sales. And yeah, so hey, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. I would do this if there was one person sitting on here because I'm not doing this just to like shove products down your throat. I'm doing this to educate. So, I mean, hey, people don't want to learn, hey, be my guest, but don't hit me up when you're upset, when you got ripped off on buying some cheap CBD products because you were just buying it off the taste and the price. I like I had a customer, like one of our wholesale customers in Alabama, I was talking to him today actually for the live stream, and he was telling me, he's like, I had this guy come in here and tell me he bought a 2,500 milligram, or no, what was it? It was a 10,000 milligram CBD tincture. How much? That he bought for thirty dollars, and my, John is my customer's name. He's like, dude, it costs more than thirty dollars to make to extract all that. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so just be careful out there, guys, because it's like, you know, I, I told you about the shops, and some of the, that's not all shops. Most of the shops are great, but there are a lot of shops popping up because people are starting to see the industry exploding, and they're just trying to capitalize on it and make that cash grab and cash out real quick. So I'm just letting you know, guys, if there's a new shop that pops up and you walk in there and they don't have, they have products you're like, I've never heard of those. More than like one of those shops that's just trying to buy off of strictly the, does it taste good? And the price. And at the end of the day, these those shops, what they end up doing is they want you to get, they want a cheap, cheap price and they still end up marking it up like a lot more i understand you know the margins and stuff but it's like almost double the price yeah exactly like some lady she buys flour from us all the time the koi flour and she's like yeah you know i was running low and i'm really sorry but like don't hate me she's like i I tried to go buy some from a a local shop because it was really low and it wouldn't get here in time and she's like it helps me with my migraine and she's like but i didn't buy it and i was like why was it the, the koi flour the same one and she's like yeah and i was like why didn't you buy it and she was like, you sell it for $25. They were selling it for $37. Oh, damn. Plus tax. Plus tax. So at least o- over Almost, 40 Yeah. Over 40 You know, I get it. You know, shops would do sometimes would do that. You know, they got rent overhead and everything. And I get that. But it's like, you know, raise it a few dollars, not almost double the price. Just all I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I'm the only one. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I see a lot of shops do that out here. What? The... Oh, yeah. And, and it's typical in retail. I, I get it. I you know. in my head right now. It's the one you know it's wrong. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's fine. You know, there's more overhead and stuff, and that just comes with when you're buying at a shop and stuff. But, I mean, it's like not all shops are doing that. Yeah. Like I don't I do see, understand it's a business, but, at the same but time, I don't. Yeah. But guys, like I have our pricing. Like our pricing is set up so you're, you know, it's like so you're making a healthy profit per transaction. You know, regardless of your overhead, and it's just like, it it's crazy. Like, it, it you know, doubling the price. Like that's just really screwing your customers. At the oh. end of the day, <laughs> so. And then those customers are like, all right, I'm going to go. And they find the cheap CBD shop and then they get shit products. And they're like, what the fuck? Could you imagine going and be like, ah, I overpaid. So I'm going to go elsewhere. Fine. And they're like, oh, this, these prices are way cheaper. Happy medium. Yeah. They buy it. And then they're like, this is shit. And, oh man, I'm telling you guys, it all starts at the top from the shop owner. So just be careful out there. Always buy the happy medium. Yeah, happy medium. You know, I always say we're not the most, we're not the cheapest, but we're not the most expensive. Happy medium. But I ask people, do does the product work for you? You know, they tell me yes. Yes, it does. So I'm like, aren't you buying? Isn't that what you bought this product for? And it's like, what price would you pay to feel better? Ooh, that gets them every time. Ow. You know, it's just like if you were dying. And you, there was a cure that you could take, something you could take, and it was five million dollars. You now have five million dollars. Probably do everything you can. You go into debt multiple lifetimes, I'd stay five, alive, I'd right? Because of that love, baby. So, you know, that's that's. I'm just the reason why I'm saying that. It, it's just because it's like, listen, you're buying these products for potential benefits, and if do they work? Yes or no? And if they tell me yes. Well, isn't that what you got the product for? Or did you buy a, this product just for it to taste like lollipops? God. What? If you rub it in, like, after it's been sitting for a while, yeah. the cooling just pff, restarts. Oh, yeah, the little, uh, the cooling gel. So, yeah, guys, make sure you guys are sharing, commenting, asking questions. Seems a little slow. I mean, I don't know, man. It's, yeah. uh... It's interesting. It is. Started with those green check marks and just like. Yeah, I mean, hello, Barb. What's up, Brett? Uh, you just answered that. Let's see. Oh, it's good. Did you have an email me? Uh, he was talking about uh, Nate. Okay. Nate. Do you? Don said, do you give it to him every day? Um, yeah, I'll give Rocky his uh, CBD tincture. I usually give it to him at night. 
Um, but you know, like Fourth of July and stuff. I get. I mean, that was more so mid afternoon and stuff because assholes thought like, oh, I love the fireworks at noon. Hey, you're watching the fireworks in the day, bro. Like you can't see shit. Ooh. Woo! Loud bang. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're just doing it for the sound. Loud bang. Yeah. Loud bang. But uh, you know, you can get especially if your do- your pets are dealing with chronic issues, and it's like that would be something where you would want to give it to them on a day to day basis. But you know, if it's like they just get situational anxiety when you have like company coming over, then that's just as needed. So it really just depends what you're trying to use it for um, when it comes to your pets and what relief potential relief benefits you're looking for them to enjoy. All righty. Let me actually do... Um, or you said what is exactly a cannabinoid? A cannabinoid is CBD, THC... CBN. Um, CBN... So cannabinoids, you know, so like phytocannabinoid is a cannabinoid that comes from plants. An endocannabinoid, anandamide and 2-AG are cannabinoids produced within. Endo means within, phyto means plant derived. So, yeah. I mean, they're chemical compounds that are that come from the maturation of the hemp and cannabis plant. If you want me to get super technical and very... I can. You know. Um, But, yeah, Margie, that's what a cannabinoid is. CBD, THC, CBN, CBG, Delta 8, CBC, CBDA, THCA, CBCA, CBDV, CBDVA... You know, we keep going, guys. There's a lot of cannabinoids, and there's terpenes that are added on top of that. Snap. And free CBD now. Um, I all right. too. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just sharing to some grooves um, because it seems it's a little slow today. So I guess I'll pick up. I'll try to pick up some of the slack. Then everyone, but is there any questions that need to be answered? Just keep feeding them to me, Cam. Let Nothing me yet. See here, boom, boom. All right, let's do. Let's do a little bit of. Uh, we can try a little bit of product. So again, here's a sample. I guess we haven't done that yet. No, it's fine. I'm just chatting with you peeps. You know, you know, you know. I am excited I should. Nate, are you still in here, bro? I believe my Delta 8 drop shipped today, bro. If they did, hopefully they'll be here by next Wednesday so I can give them a try in front of everyone. But I do want to let you know they do induce some intoxicating effects, okay? So if you take some Delta 8 for your first time, do it at home. Teresa said, do you, y'all grow anything? Like, grow any plants? So smart. Do y'all grow anything? Like, personally? I mean, I have yeah. weed growing at home right now. I think that's what you mean. Yeah, I have weed growing at home right now. I post pictures of it. It's just in um, the veg state, so it's nothing really exciting to look at. But, <laughs> yeah, it's... I grow, I grow weed all the time at home. Like... Because, like, I I want to learn how to grow fatty colas and stuff. And, like, guys, like, I try to immerse myself in everything involved in this industry. I don't just, like, do Wellesley and preach CBD from 9 to 5. Like, cannabis is involved in all aspects of my life, whether I'm at work or whether I'm at home. Like, I grow it. Like, I learn. That's how I learn because it's, like... I want to know how to do it. So if somebody asks me how to do it, I can explain it to them. And I enjoy it. It's sweet. Like, I think it's dope as fuck when you grow weed and you're smoking it and you get high as shit and you're like, I grew this shit. What's up? Like, it's sick. So, but yeah, Teresa, um, I, we do grow some. I try growing, but I don't have a green thumb. Teresa, it's not... I, I don't have no green thumb. Um, listen, it's it's trial and error. 
try it. You know, like, guys, like, the first time I grew weed, it was literally me planting it and just watering it and putting it in the sun. Got an ounce and a half out of my first grow, which was pretty sweet. Um, but then it's like you start doing research into the nutrients, and then, like, now it's come to a point where, like, at certain aspects of the grow period, it's like if the leaves start turning yellow slightly or, you know, they start getting a little burnt on the edges and just different things your plant tells you. And, like, you learn that by doing it. And, like, weed's a weed. Guys, weed grows in the desert. There's wild weed plants that just will pop up in just, like, fucking the desert and shit, you know, if people throw seeds. It's, like, it's a very resilient plant. But if you want to, if you want to get those fat, high, those fat colas that you guys see pictures of online and that are dispensary quality... Then you got to start paying attention to lighting conditions, humidity conditions, um, what nutrients you're feeding it, how much nutrients you're feeding it, how much you're watering it, airflow. There's a lot of things that go into it, but it's like growing weed. It, if you want to just grow a plant, you can grow a plant. It's a weed. Weed. It, it, you know, weed. It's a great name for it because it grows like a weed. Guys, where do weeds grow? wherever in the most inconvenient places i know because i had to pull stupid weeds it's horrible um don said when you vape cbd is it true you don't have to hold the hit like most hold the hit when smoking traditional weed yes um i mean like when i vape i'm not like (sighs) you're like yo i inhale it i vape it like i would normally um (laughs) That whole myth of <clears throat> the longer you hold it in, the higher you get. Actually, I've read studies that the vast majority of the cannabinoids are absorbed within the first few seconds of absorption or of consumption. Yeah, like when I take a dab, guys, I'm not like dabbing and then like holding my face and looking like, you know, that chick from uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where she's like, a uh, you know, a blueberry. Like I'm not looking like I, I dab it. I probably hold it for a second or two and then exhale. It's like I'm not sitting there and like, <laughs> you know, like dying. Like I, when I see people do that, I'm like, bro, you're just mate, you're just hurting yourself more than you really need to right now. I mean, I get the theory, <laughs> I get it, it makes sense. Oh shit! It's just like the whole thing of if you eat mango, just one mango, you'll get higher. It's like because of the mycerine in it. It's like that doesn't have high enough levels of mycerine in it to work. I fucked up. What? Oh, you rubbed it in your dude, eyes, I'm dude? Idiot, up. dude. I either rubbed it in with this finger and I, it's fine. Idiot. Oh, and it's really, it's... You guys see what I have to deal with? <laughs> oh, fuck. You guys see this? <laughs> this is some bullshit. Like, now you're just going to be crying the whole time. Dude, oh, my God. I'm just kidding. I know how bad that hurts. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, dude, it hurts. I know. I've done it. Oh, and yeah, guys, make sure you use that coupon code WELLACY30 to save 30% off the Super Chews, the full spectrum, um, any of the WELLACY branded products. All right. And uh, yeah, I, I wish I had the concentrates to show you guys because what is it like? Um, here, I'll, I'll read you through some of these dope ass concentrates we got coming to the WELLACY website. Some of them are already added onto the site, but. Let's see what we got. We got the Straw Nana Fusion, which is a broad spectrum wax, okay? For you fruit lovers. Then we got a CBG slab, which is just CBG. We got the CBD Blueberry OG Shatter, okay? We got the CBD Pineapple Express Shatter, the CBD Turpin Gorilla Shatter. Oh, one of my personal favorites, the Girl Scout Cookie CBD Wax. I like that. Uh, some watermelon OG shatter, just uh, some CBD OG wax. All right, I can see that being a heavy little indica chilling, looking good. Uh, we got the Girl Scout cookie shatter, guys. I'm telling you, oh, I'm wow. on a mission bringing you guys some high quality products. And this company also has some ball and tinctures. I know my girl Lindsay has been crushing it with the product pages, so thank you, Lindsay. I will get those. Posted tonight, <laughs> what? Lord's like, what's wrong with Cam's eyes? Oh, yeah, he, so he was, his dumb ass. So <laughs> we talk about this. I, I give you the warning. If only he would listen to what I say. Cam used 
the um, koi roll on for his knee, and for some reason he was dicking around and no, I rubbed it oh, in yeah, more. Exactly. If I rub it in, it puts it reinvigorates the iciness. Okay, I said that after. So he he did that, and then Tweedledum over here went like this and rubbed his eyes. So I now, didn't itch. What do you yeah, want me to do? Now he's got it? menthol in his <laughs> eye. <laughs> just like menthol arnica. Hey, you know, that's something funny. What? Before I touched the eye, like five minutes prior, you're like, I, like don't itched do this. my nose and my nose. Touched. Yeah, and you were like, okay, I need to not. <laughs> I was do like, this. all right, all right, all right. So this finger's bad, and then I went like this. I did. I felt the cold instant. Like, so don't. If you use a roll on or any topical, I should say, don't rub it into your eyes. Um, let me finish this up. So I got pineapple express CBD wax, watermelon CBD wax, turp pin gorilla wax, blueberry OG CBD wax, and finally straw nana. CBD wax and Margie because I know you're gonna ask those concentrates up oh, I'm hoping I'll be up on Friday so then I'll have all the inventory we got some of it here I just need the rest of it um, but Margie I am gonna be bringing on a dipper CBD dab pen as well okay um, so that's it's basically like a um, what are those things called shit not nectar collector yeah nectar collectors um, the next collector where you like take a straw. I don't know if you guys have ever, ever seen somebody dab where basically just imagine this is like a, a, a bong looking thing and they torture it at the bottom and then they have like a line or they have like a container of isolate or whatever. And what they do is they dip it in here and they dab it. So that's a nectar collector. So what I'm bringing on is a electronic version of that. It's called the dipper CBD dab pen. And what you do, it just looks like a vape device. It's rechargeable and it has basically a heating element on this end and a mouthpiece on this end. So what you would do is you turn it on and heat. Once it's heated, you would stick the mouthpiece in your mouth and then you don't have to take the concentrate out of the container. You could literally just dip it, get it, dipper stick or dipper dab pen. You can dip it into the concentrate container, vaporize whatever you want and you just took a dab. At home, on the go, wherever you go, the dipper CBD dab pen will get you nice and elevated whenever you need it the most. I'm so excited about the concentrates. I'm fucking crying. Yeah, baby! It's just so beautiful, guys. Cam's crying up in here. No, tears are just falling. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> Melina, what does a dipper uh, di dipper pen look like? Did I mean, it's honestly, I would say it's probably about the size of this. Like, granite, this is. And it's a little... Um, kind of looks like the old school vapes. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Or it kind of looks like a battery for, like, a cartridge. Yeah. The battery portion, just without the cartridge on top. Honestly, Sorry, it this. does look like a e-cigarette device, except on the... So it's got the mouthpiece end where the cartridge end would go, mm -hmm. you know, when you screw it in. Um, and then the other end, instead of it just being nothing, it has a little pointed white ceramic coil on the end of it and you just literally dip it in there so it's pro it's honestly the size i would say it's the size of this yeah. like size wise put it in your pocket it's not super heavy it comes with it, it comes it's a full kit guys it comes with multiple coils it even comes with a concentrate container um it comes with cotton swabs so you can clean it out each time you use it. Do that. I highly recommend it so you don't get behind and it's nasty. Um, and it, it also has a, you know, if you want to scoop it out, it comes with a little dabber like this. It's a little, it's a smaller portable dabber size than that. So, yeah. Almost did it again. Almost did it again. So, yeah, I, I can't like show you because it's like here, hard for me. Yeah, I'll put it over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you're plugged in. Well, here I can undo it. Okay, 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 man. Whatever. So look at this, guys. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. That so, that's the dipper. It's the pen on the bottom. Yeah. Right. All right. Sorry, excuse. I, I was supposed to have again, guys. I was supposed to have this today, but you know things happen. I get it. You know, everyone's doing their business. So yeah, I just want it. Mainly for like some kind of selfish reason. This is like probably one of the main products. One of the first products that I truly am bringing on out of a pure passion for what I use. <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, I, it's not like what, it doesn't matter what I like. It matters what you guys like. 
Nobody gives a shit what I care, what I like. So, um, you know, but I, I, we've been getting a lot of requests about concentrates, and these concentrates meet my, my high quality standards. You know, I, guys, I've been getting calls for concentrates for a while, at least a year. But it's like the stuff that they send me, it's just like they're like, oh, here's just our isolate powder. And I'm like, come on, bro. That was cool three years ago. Yeah, we want shatter. Like do some wax. shatter, do some wax, introduce some terpenes in there, you know, to induce specific effects, relief benefits, like stuff like that. And, you know, this company that we're bringing on, it's uh, from Steve's Goods. So um, excited about that for you guys. Um, Barb Harrell said I like smoking green stuff. I mean, hey, we got con or not concentrates. We have uh, CBD flour, CBG flour. Um, so I mean, we all, we have hemp flour. So whether you like smoking that grain or you like smoking that concentrate, we got both. Hell, do it like me. Combine the flour, combine the concentrates, Com load up a bowl, roll up a joint, roll up a blunt. Sprinkle some of that concentrate up in there or top it on on top of your bowl as a nice little bowl topper. Love it. You know? Roll up a blunt, you know? Grind up some flour. Sprinkle a little bit of the shatter or the wax in there. Roll it up. And you got a one nice potent smoking experience. That's all I'm saying. I love it. So if you guys have any questions of different ways to use different products, like let me know. I am a true practitioner of these products. I I use them. I practice with, you know what? So it's like, I'll tell you this. Being 100% transparent, the one product I have not tried on the Wellesley website is suppositories. Mm -hmm. It's the one product I haven't tried. Is that the one that... Yeah, you stick up your ass. <laughs> In your case, your little cooch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys, I hope you're laughing about this. I hope y'all are giggling right now. Um, but, yeah, those are what suppositories are. And Melina, you, know, you wouldn't want to grind concentrates. No, 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 so no. So you no. grind the flour, and then you would put it into a bowl, and then you would just put what, the concentrate. What you would do, yeah, so don't grind it. Yeah, don't grind it. But grind what? So, like, with this shatter, okay, what you could literally do if you want to, like, break it up, you could literally take a dabber and crush it up. Or you could take some out and, you know, you could break it apart. Like, look, guys, like, it just breaks apart. Like, it'll just get sticky. Like, look, see, that's, I just crushed uh, a piece that I got out of here. That's um perfect for a bowl. Yeah, this, look, you guys literally could take this, this amount, Instagram look, and you guys just place it on top of a bowl. All right? Instagram, do you guys got any questions for me? Alan, hello. Nick Seawall, hello. Tori Grant, how the hell are you, bro? Um, all righty. Ooh, Beyond Vaping joined. So what comes after vaping if you're beyond it? <laughs> you just waiting for me to do that? Yeah, I was like, what, what are you going to come up with this one? <laughs> I swear I scare some of the Instagram people away. They're not expecting me to just, like, come at them like that. <laughs> But yeah, I wouldn't. Don't put concentrates in your grinder and grind it up. Don't do that. Um, you know, you could just break it up like that. I mean, for God's sakes, you could literally. You could take your dab tool and you could just have your concentrate like this, and you could break it up into like a powdery substance. Even if you don't have a dab tool, anything. Yeah, you use your finger. Oh yeah, or finger. Yeah, we finger works. It, it's not that hard to crush up. Um, so yeah, but do not um, put in your grinder. I mean, you could, but it's just gonna be messy and shit's gonna it could stick on the the teeth. And it's like, Cam hears me all the time. I'm just like clack 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 on the grinder all the time when I grind anything. What are you doing? You're gonna break the grinder. It's my grinder, dude. And then know. and then I'm just like, dude, gotta get the gotta get the try you gotta get everything off of the um the grinder. I almost went into trichomes. I don't know why, but I'm gonna break my grinder one day. No, I'm just trying to break it up, you know, get that keef and everything, get that sticky icky off of it. So the same thing would happen with concentrates. I never when I load bowls, I never put it on grinders. I mean honestly, like if I have shatter or wax, I literally will just like take out my wax container or shatter and then I'll I'll put some in my hand and then I'll load a bowl and then I'll just literally place it right on top of the bowl. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh woo! 
Yeah. Uh, Jay Whitehurst, 96, was goody. Hello, Nick Seawall. It is going very, very well this Wellness Wednesday. How are you doing, my man? You having a good day? You got any questions about CBD products that I can answer for you? What can I do for you? And that's what I need to ask all of you. What can I do for you today? How can I help you? Let me know by dropping a comment because that's what this is for. That's what this, the rest of this show is all about Q&A and everything, okay? So, oh, I guess I kind of skipped over the review. I just answered guys' questions, but, you know. Hmm. I will say this Eclipse CBD uh, hemp-infused body butter, it smells really good. Again, yeah. sample size. I am with this. I am just testing the consistency of it, the scent of it. I can't test the true efficacy of this product because inside of this, there is 75 milligrams in it. Okay, but it's not in a large enough container where I could use this every single day in amounts large enough to apply it in specific large muscle groups to see if it's truly effective for me. I can't be the only one that thinks that. That's why, you know, when like, we get asked for, do you have sample size products? It's like, at that point, you're literally just buying the product to taste it. To taste it, to taste it. Yeah. Right? Can you see now? You're not yeah. blind anymore? No. I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. Tori Grant, if you're still in here, man, you will better say hello, bro. I miss you, man. Hope Callie's treating you well. Um. Yeah, actually, no. I heard <laughs> Kelly just like, an absolute fucking shit show. I was like, I think we both can guesstimate what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I was telling my uh, the uh, agency, one of the agencies I work with out of L.A., and he was telling me about, like, some uh, big box interests that we were having and some other clients that are interested in uh, the Wellesley products. Very exciting, guys. That's all I got to uh, say. Very, very exciting. I can't share anything, but very very exciting and i was like dude when these deals close like i want to fly out to cali and we go out to dinner and stuff he's like no you don't and i was like shit man i don't want i can't i'm not flying to cali dude. you can't do anything he's like nah nothing nothing i was like well i guess maybe next year <laughs> 2021 i'll fly out and we'll celebrate our 2020 victories but yeah so i was a little bummed i was like bro i'm excited for these to close let me come out there we'll go dinner go to dinner and a little celebration celebration and he's like, I wouldn't do that right now. I was like, ah. Too much shit's going on. Yeah, he was like, yeah, dude, we got back into the office for two weeks, and then right after that, they we had to go back home. <laughs> he's like, we had to send all the employees home. I was like, oh, my God, man. I feel bad. Oh, Cali, Cali, Cali. Hey, but, hey, got to take that public safety and public health very serious. Nature's girl. Hello, nature's girl. How are you doing? Nature's girl, are you somebody else on Facebook? Do you view us on Facebook normally? But anyways, if you don't, happy Wellness Wednesday. I just wanted to make sure, because um, that's the thing with Instagram. Everyone has like different usernames, yeah, different names and stuff. Whereas Facebook, I get to see your true name. Actually, most of the time, your true name. My mine's just my nickname on Facebook. So, um, yes, Melina Bishop, good to know. Yes, Melina, anything else you need? Just let me know. JB Geiler, the 1500 milligram green roads are the bomb. I just placed an order. Thank you so much, JB. I really appreciate um, your support. I do believe they are discontinuing those, though. I believe they told me about that. Yeah. Um, but I think they're kind of changing, like changing into a different product or something. I, I do believe that they do plan on discontinuing those. Oh, green roads. Pam Murphy! Hell yes, it's Pam. Uh oh. Pam, 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 Pam. How the hell are you doing? Did you have a good 710? You weren't here on Friday when we were dabbing. And I was like, where's Pam? Like, Cam and I are probably, she's probably dabbing, yeah, celebrating her 710. But Pam Murphy, I do want to let you know, we are bringing on a bunch of new CBD concentrates. A bunch. A bunch of new dabs. So you can give those a try, as I know you are a little, you are a fellow dab head. Ah. <sighs> All right. Where's my water at? I'm surprised know. somebody wasn't like, Eden, take a drink. I meant to get my cookie and eat it on here. Damn, that's disrespectful. 
Who the hell? Seven two zero nine three seven eight five two nine. Declined. I, I'm live right now. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, sorry, bro. Maybe it was. Oh, uh, what? Watch. It's probably that dude that was that's trying to chop off the concentrates. Uh, well, he told me yesterday, he was like, oh, I can meet you, dude. Like, that'd be great. And then I was like, okay, I'm here till 6. And then he was like, sorry, he messaged me. Sorry, man. Day got away from me. And I was like, that's okay. And then this morning, he was like, yeah, I can, I can step away. Like, I can drop this off to you. And then I email him back immediately. Like, all right, perfect. Like, live stream's at 4. Here's my address. Doesn't respond. Like, and it wasn't until, like, 45 minutes before the live stream. He's like, hey, man, sorry. We're just training some new people today. And I was like. I was like, yo, dude, I'm sending the pissed off wellness warriors your way when they find out we don't have the concentrates yet because you got distracted. <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all, you guys don't get too upset, but I'm just so excited about getting these products to you. Like, uh, Pam, are you saying that's awesome, guys? Yeah, Pam, I think you will really like it. And you guys on Instagram, it might cut off here in a second. Don't worry. We will be going back on Instagram just cuts us off after an hour. Margie says, are the relaxed bears being canceled by Green Rose? Um, I, th I think they're, like, kind of keeping them, but I thought they were going, like, I think the relaxed bears as we know it might go away because they're trying to get away from, I don't know why they didn't think of this from the beginning, the kitty shapes. Like, I saw that all, like, the froggies and stuff. They got rid of the froggies. Um... Like, the froggies, we still have a few of the froggies left, but I, they discontinued those. Um, I think the relaxed bears they do plan on keeping, but they might just be changed in, like, a non-kid shape. It's like, why do you need bears? Like, just give me a gummy. Because it's fun. Like, I see gummy octopuses or gummy rings or gummy worms, and it's like, bro, I don't give a shit what my gummy is, what shape it is. I don't care if it's just a big middle finger. If it works, if it's got CBD in it, listen, they got they got wiener gummies you can send people. Those are funny little gag gifts. <laughs> listen, you want to sell me a wiener-shaped gummy? If it's super effective, I'll eat wiener-shaped gummies all day. I don't care about the shape. That's all I'm trying to say. Care about the effects. Or does he want to eat wiener gummies? <laughs> I don't want to just eat wiener gummies for the sake of eating wiener gummies. If you want to do that, dude, I can get you the wiener gummies. <laughs> Oh, they were, what is it? So when you get the package, it's called, you like open it and it says like, eat a dick. And then it's just like a bunch of dick gummy worms. I'm serious, guys. Look it up. I mean, make sure you do your keywords properly when you're searching. But um, yeah, there, there really is a company that you can do like gag gifts for stuff like that. It's hilarious. Uh, I think uh, Michelle did it for like Marty or somebody for her birthday. It was hilarious. Uh, Margie, I care what you like. Yeah, I guess that came off wrong. Like, I guess I should say, like, I'm not just, like, like, when I'm bringing on new product brands, I'm not just, like, oh, I like this one, so I'm bringing it on. Oh, I dislike this one, so I'm not bringing it on. That That's kind of what I mean. It's, like, I don't like suppositories, but I still sell them because I know there's a market for them, and I know it's from a high-quality manufacturer, a.k.a. also known as Endoka. Which is a very high, high quality there. Uh, oh. Euro, they're a European company. I think Germany or something. Germany. But, yeah, it's... they. Uh, I do like their products as well. Uh, let's... What? What, what, what? Corey Nelson's in here. Oh, hey guys. Hello. It's super busy. How is everyone? Hello. Let me... Like, is it the time... Like, is it the time we go live, or... I mean, I don't know. It's crazy, man. Like, I see a that other stupid live stream that I see that goes on at 5 when we are actually... Yeah, when we end. Um, so, actually, 5 p.m. because they're in Cali. And they're going live, and they're just, like, doing, like, auction ones, and they get, like, hundreds of viewers on there. And it's, like, go on their Facebook page, and they have, like, maybe a few hundred likes. Mm. And it's just, like... So is it the time? Like, if this was at a different time, would it be more accessible? Like, I'm just playing around. That's why I might just, like, start fucking going live just on random days at random times just so I can start seeing the engagement and seeing when most people are online. I just figured, you know, four, 
or five or what do we start four so 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m i mean we have a lot of customers on east coast i mean i'm just playing around with it i just want to make sure we get a um a lot of i just want to make sure we're getting the viewership so then i can educate as many people as possible yeah so you know I love all you guys. I love y'all. But I want to make sure that everyone who wants to learn about these CBD products has a chance. So I, I just, I don't know. They, these are the questions that I ask myself on a day-to-day -day basis. These are the things I look at. These are the reasons why I can't go to sleep at night. Uh... Uh, uh, Pam said you're on 6 to 8 my time Yeah so I figured you know East Coast 6 to 8 was a good solid time People are home but I mean I just can't crack this viewership It's driving me crazy I feel like we're bringing a lot of value And I feel like we just A lot of people could benefit from this So i just trying to figure it out And you know I just I'm kind of just thinking out loud right now I guess You know uh, let's see here. Is there any other questions that um, you guys have? You know, CBD concentrates, some of the new products. We did bring on a uh, new Blue Moon hemp product, CBG flower, CBD flower. There, you can buy an ounce of those bad boys. Oh, what is it? An eighth, a quarter ounce, and then a full ounce. So that's the largest flower container that you can buy right now from Wellesley. Most of our other ones are just like the herb that go up to um, eighth, pa eight, eighth prepackaged bags. I can't speak. I don't know why I can't put that into English. But I can't. You, you all know what I'm trying to say, right? Any questions? I'm um, trying to think what else. Oh, I mean the Delta 8. I do have the Delta 8 drops coming. So once I get those, I can't wait. I think what I might do is just sit there and drink a full bottle. You won't. What is it? Nate, I mean, still there. I think it, or Josh, you're in here. Was it 380 milligrams of Delta 8 in the entire bottle? Dude, you're going to overdose. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. You can't overdose, bro. What's going to happen? You're just going to fall asleep. That's what happens when you get too stoned. They're going to smoke we might. Shout out to Duke if Duke's watching. Would it, I'd always be, you know what? I'd be smoking. I'd be done. He'd be like, you want to smoke more? Nah, man. I'm already high. What's going to happen if you smoke too much? I'm going to eat some more and go to sleep. He's like, what's wrong with that? Hell yeah, bro. I'm in. Then that's how you get a tolerance that's high. <laughs> like, you peer pressured me into smoking more weed. You'll be okay. Duke? Why is it so dark up front? Do you see that? It's so dark. I know the lights are off, but why is it so dark? Is the sun not out today? That's kind of scary. Maybe there's like a... What was the weather like too? Is it nice? It was like cloudy, but when we oh. came into the stream, it was like sun was coming out. Yeah, see, I don't... Well, really... even if it was cloudy, it would not be that dark. Yeah, I don't really like walk... I don't walk up to the front of the office very often. I just sit back in my office. Cam, like, keeps me locked away in my office and Shut doesn't let me leave. Up. He only lets me go pee once a day. Oh. I can only drink... I can only have this one refill of water per day. Like, he locks me in. It's... It's scary working here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, everyone. So you have to say just kidding because someone will take that out of context. I know. I am the owner. Cam cannot tell me what to do. Okay, <laughs> so I'll just pre I'll just end it with that. What? Yeah, somebody will be. Somebody will hear that like two seconds. Of, oh my god, they're abusive at Wellesley. We got a call. <laughs> they probably put him in the cabinet under the stairway. <laughs> Where's those UK? At? I wish Jake Vames was in here to tell him that like his package is on the way. Sorry, there's like a stupid fly thing. Oh, floating it. around. Yeah, I think stupid and getting into my eyes. Stupid. Stupid. Lori Cam, hope everyone is having a good day. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, yes. Oh, and I guess that other thing. Um, I guess Whitney Phillips isn't on here, but <coughs> the canatonic tinctures, the high CBN with CBD in it. Um, from my good boy, Josh Arnett. I'll be getting those, that added to the site. I'll send you some of the info to show you. Uh, no. But, yeah, after the Steve's Goods. No. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the gummies would be great. Hello, Misty Carlisle. Uh, 
we got t-shirts in. Yeah, and the I do kind of keep forgetting. I remember this every time we go live. The tank, the women's tank top. It takes me 20, 30 minutes to get it up. So I just. Uh, what about the bro tank, dude? We got bro tanks. Bro, dude, bro tank. Bro, tanks, bro dude. out. If you want the bro tanks, I'll tell you bro tank, dude. Oh my Frat god. Season, my god. Teresa said gummy bears sound good. I already got munchies. Hell yeah. That's the worst part about edibles for me is like I eat them to get high and then I get the munchies and then I'm like, ah, some the gummies were really good. Let's just eat some more gummies. It's a brutal cycle. It's a <laughs> of me being hella couch luck. Probably just I sit like this, like eyes closed, smile on my face. There's time, I don't know if this happens to you. It happens with me even when I use CBD products. Like I'll just be like sitting there, or, like even when I smoke weed, like be sitting there, and all of a sudden I'm just like, how long have I been smiling? Like I'm just like sitting there, my face is just like perma smile, and then I like think to myself, I don't remember ever forcing myself to smile or cu- le- making myself smile. How long have I been smiling? Have I been just walking around like this? <laughs> It would have watch. Get stoned when you space out and then you space back oh, in. Oh, happens. You'd be like, like, why is I smiling? <laughs> Nate, uh, Pam says, good CBD. Um, all the Eclipse, the nighttime one, you like that, Pam? You sleep tight? Night, night, sleep tight. Because it's got that CBN up in there, baby. Leave that melatonin at home. I want that CBN. That is what I am all up. About and no blueberry is not a new flavor. We've had blueberry. Yeah, we've had blueberry. It's actually one of the more popular flavors, actually. Really? Yes. Interesting. It is. Don Miller Daughtry said it shows you care. That's. I just want to help. That's all I want to do. I just want to help you guys. Um, who the hell is that? Am oh, and Instagram. What? Oh, shit. Instagram! Look at that, a second! It was probably... I don't know who it was, whatever. Why are these people just like, don't Dude, really know? People want me. It's just like, I always, people always try and schedule conference calls with me on Wednesday or Friday at 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. Yo, bro, we can't do this. We got Wellness Wednesday. Wellness. What is it, 116? 117. 117. One, part one. Boom. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 baby. Here we go. All right. We're getting the old Instagram set up again. Is there any more questions? Yeah, it's been kind of quiet in here, guys. I mean, I don't know. I might need to go back to the drawing board, everyone, and just see... What else I can do to keep providing value because this don't really seem like it's working out. So, you know, we'll see what I need to do. Um, all right. Yeah, guys, all the Wellacy products are on sale. Uh, no, Margie, Blueberry is not new. Had it for a while. A good... Oh, if it isn't Jonathan Wark! Bro? Where's my Koi products at? Man? (laughs) I need my Koi CBD, Jonathan. Where you at? I'm gonna blow you up after this if you don't respond. You know how you do it to me? You call me, you leave me voicemails. I'm going to blow your ass up. All right? Two Better respond, Jonathan. Two can play that game. I see, I see you were watching, man. That's what happens when you befriend me on my personal page, and I can see my friends that are watching. Uh, Margie was saying, I think they were delivering it today, Eden. Uh, deliver what? I don't know. I think they deli- uh, delivering what, Margie? I'm sorry. I'm For package or anything? Oh, your package? Okay. If it's that, rem- sorry. I'm just, yeah. Sure. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Why do you say make, make Cam's tank mesh to impress his cowboys? Mm -hmm. Hello, Susan Carlisle. How are you doing today? Yes, Pam, you're back. It's not really your back, I guess. We came back because Instagram, um, it cuts off after an hour. I mean, it's like, yo, people like to live stream for more than an hour. Joe Rogan? Yeah. Like, if you can't fill over an hour for a live stream, you newbie. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Jake's package. Oh, Jake's package. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, Margie, I'm sorry. I just... Chat in the game. I'm so flustered today, guys. I've, uh... It's been a hectic day, to say the least. Actually, I should say it's a hectic week. Every Wednesday. Dude. Oh, I love it, though. You guys keep me busy. And I love you all so much for keeping me busy. Um... I guess it just keeps me from being bored. Because then it's like when I'm not working, it's just like, I just want to sleep. <laughs> like, I'm not bored. And it just, it's work or I'm just relaxing. Mm hmm. Hi, Danny on Instagram. How are you doing? I apologize. My mid hello while I was um, drinking. Ooh, Lisa! Lisa! One reviews. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing today? You having a fantastic Wednesday? Do you got any questions about CBD products that I can answer for you? Have you seen CBD products out in the wild you weren't sure of? Maybe you have questions about? Let me know. I do this for you guys. I just want to chat with you. Um... Melina said, do you guys restock whatever is out of stock right now? Yeah, I mean, well, what are you looking, Melina? What are you looking for that's out of stock? Melina Bishop, what do you need that's out of stock? Let me know. Because usually, yes, if the product sells, we will restock it. So, Melina, 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 just let me know what you need, and we will get it for a you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, guys, I just want to know, does this, what Lindsay said from the Wellesy page, you guys may think, like, oh, man, Eden's chatting us from the Wellesy page, and he's answering our question? No, guys, that's Lindsay chatting from the Wellesy page. So, um... Yeah, I mean, like Lindsay asked, yeah, this is a good time for you. I'm, I'm just going to keep running polls. I need to run a poll. Lindsay, that's what I need to do. We need to run a poll on Facebook and do it for like a week or two and see. We'll get people's feedback. Uh, let's see. Danny's saying, everyone thinks not working would be awesome, but it sucks. So boring and I feel useless. And parentheses. She says, I am disabled, a former work uh Holic. Yeah, I I hear you, Danny. I like I I don't know. It's just like when people are like, oh, I, if I had ten million dollars, I would just retire and go sit on the beach. Like, mm -hmm. nah, bro. What I would do if I had millions of dollars, I think I'd still be working. Honestly, it's just like I just want to keep pushing myself to do more, and I just my brain would like. <laughs> like I'm going crazy there's only so much Xbox there's only so much TV and Netflix and shit that I can watch and it's just like I just start going crazy and it's like that's why I, like guys I mean I wake up at 6 in the morning every day and uh, I mean what, 9, 30, 10 is usually when I'm stopping to work mm -hmm. like I can't go home and just like work all day and then just sit and just like watch TV I, I can't do that like I I, I, you can do that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Do you, boo-boo? But I'm just saying, like, me, like, I, I'm sitting there and I'm just, like, thinking about work. And I'm like, I should be doing this, that. And, like, that's just the way my – that's the way I'm wired. I get it. We're all wired differently. So, you know, it is what it is. Melina, we won't be able to get you that device because it's been discontinued. Just Which for one? the Zen. Oh, yeah, the Koi Zen's discontinued. Like, it's not even on Koi's website anymore. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Whoa, that was so... Bye-bye. If you want a dope device, you're going to have to kind of switch it up. It's not refillable. Is uh, the Aero Pro. Aero Pro. Aero Pro. And I'll be filming a review video on that uh, very, very soon. Um, 
Yeah, I need to start doing that. I need to start scheduling time in the middle of the week. Oh. Like an hour every whatever day so I just film videos. Do you guys like my YouTube review videos? Do you guys watch? Like, do you get value and benefit from it? Does it help guide you in the product selection process? I'm just like... Um, Danny, the poll, what I'm talking about is uh, a poll asking our viewers or our fans... If the 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific start time for Wellness Wednesday and Feel Good Friday is a good time because I feel like we've just been like stuck at like, you know, between 10 and 30 viewers forever. So I'm just, I need to scale, I want to scale this and get it to just hundreds and even thousands of viewers. And it's just like, I just want to make sure it's the time because it's like, I, it's, this live stream isn't just to push products down your throat is to educate now of course i'll tell you stuff like this those of you guys that just joined into the live stream we are running a 30 percent flash sale on all wellesy branded wellesy branded meaning wellesy manufactured if it has wellesy on the bottle that's a wellesy branded product 30 percent off with coupon code wellesy 30 and free shipping guys god damn it that's amazing might even say it life changing so load up on your Wellesy products 30% off through Sunday I told you this is what happens like you know I let the email subscribers know first and the VIP tech subscribers they got access to it first I saw a bunch of people loaded up on stuff last night um and you know watching these live streams it's like you know yeah I did post about it earlier sometimes when we're running flash sales like this I'll let the email list know VIP text le uh, message list no, and I'll let you guys, uh, Wellness Wednesday Feel Good Friday viewers, know. Other than that, I don't post about stuff like that. So, see, you get exclusive access to different discount codes that I, a lot of times, I don't make readily available to the general public. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Danny said, oh, personally, doesn't matter to me because I'm always stuck at home, but I get why a lot of people may not be able to watch then thanks for explaining um yeah no worries i just figured especially now because i mean how many people 20 million now because i think we added you know 10 million new jobs or whatever in may june whatever um and it's 20 30 million people still at home out of, job, out of a job so it's like i was like expecting you know covid i was like oh online sales have been exploding um i was like oh hopefully like the wellness wednesday and feel good friday viewership start exploding because people are sitting at home i don't know I just uh, really need to get the shares. I need to find more groups to share into. Because, like, those vape groups and stuff, guys, those are dead. Those vape groups are so dead. Juice junkies. All those big vape groups are dead. But they're not where they used to be. And then now I just see CBD fucking groups that are just filled with MLMs and people just pushing products. Why don't you share some educational material like a blog post or um, a live stream talking about the differences between the human and the animal endocannabinoid system or the other 116 other educational topics that we've talked about on Wellness Wednesday plus the 40 plus weeks we've been doing Feel Good Friday. Ooh. All right. See. All right, let's see, Koizen. I just want to make sure, is there any little last minute questions? Margie, how are you liking that Aero Pro? Oh, I really like it. <laughs> you said I got the Aero Pro, really like it. That's amazing, Margie. I mean, it's our best-selling vaporizer for a reason. It does the job. It gets the job done, and they make THC cartridges if you are in a legal state. Who knows? Maybe they'll make Delta A cartridges. One day. We can only hope, brother. We can only hope. I don't know. Uh, no. Uh, no. The Molina, the Koizen, or the Aero Pro have adjustable temperature. It's perfect. The exact right pew, pew, temp. Pew. Margie, do you like that little vibrating sensation when it goes? It's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, Chase, that's another thing is the Caliburn is the same device as the Koi Zen. Yes, yes. 
Um, <laughs> well, thanks, Margie. Yeah, uh, Lindsay, how did you guys find us? Well, coming from Wellesley, that's Lindsay asking it. But yeah, Margie said, I've been here for two years. <laughs> Yes, Margie, you've been a long, long, long time customer of ours, and we are very appreciative of all of your business, Margie. We love serving serving you oh. and your CBD needs. We love servicing everybody for whatever they need for um, these CBD products and just even just information. Oh, perfect. Nasty Nate, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know if you wanted me to, but yeah. Carts are coming very soon, like maybe next week. The Delta 8 carts. Whoa, dude, this is just... Y'all ready for this? Da, 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 Gonna blow it up. Let's blow it up up in here, all right? Okay, everyone. Hello, Long Lost Local. How are you doing on Instagram? Great to see you. Love will guide the stars. Hello, hello, hello. All right, guys. Let's pick some winner. Let's pick a winner. How many shows we have? Three. Can't do it. Refresh it, dude. Refresh it. Can say please and thank you. Sometimes. Please and thank you. 37. All right. <laughs> mm, fuck me then. I'll just go fuck myself. I'll just go. <laughs> well, this Wednesday, 117. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. He. Do a little bit of winner, winner picking. I don't know. What? No, no, no. What did Josh say? Three, three, three. Oh, there's 333 milligrams of the Delta 8 in there. Um, all right, then. When uh, number one. Or the, I shouldn't say winner number one. Winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner would be Melina Bishop. Melina Bishop. Which one would you like to do? Just type number one, two, three, or four. Down below, you can find these choices. Yep, yep, yep. Instagram, do you guys got anything for me? Any um, chats, any questions? I'm here for you guys. Whatever I can do for each and every single one of you, I will do it. All right, all right. So, Melina Bishop. Ah. Okay then. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so guess I need to do a little bit of research on playing around with. Um, <laughs> Nate said, "Well, is he about to be the Delta Eight plug?" Uh, there you go, Josh. Replying to Nate saying, "Orange Dream is phenomenal." I can't wait. I mean, Nate, can I, bro? I'm, like, don't judge me, but I might get one of those bottles and just, like, drink the whole thing. <laughs> See how I feel. Um, I don't know. I don't think Belinda's here. Oh, Stormy. I think she's replying. I'm just not seeing it. Because people are saying Stormy. They're saying Stormy Daniels. Is that what she said with Stormy Daniels? Because I'm not seeing her comment. I just want to make sure. Let us know, guys. Like, am I not seeing comments now? I can think... Let's find where Zuckerberg lives in. Dude, he's trying to colonize fucking Hawaii, bro. Yeah. Buying, like, compounds and shit. Trying to colonize little islands. With him and his little minions. Oh, Nate, my dude. We can do it together. I'll bring us sprites to mix with. <laughs> dude, that... I think that would be a good piece of content, bro. Nobody else is going to sit there and do it. 
<laughs> I think we can make like a cool little video or something, dude. You know, we'll drink it and then have like a little countdown timer, you know, and then like 20 minutes later, you know, SpongeBob voice. Next day. And then we'll just boom, boom. Hello, Andrew on Instagram. Uh, I think, yeah, so she does want, yeah. Yeah, you want the Stormy Daniels? Yeah, yeah Molina. Uh, that herb flower is some bolishes net. Whoa, language. It is great, high quality flower, and I mean, the branding is just spectacular. It's a f phenomenal product all around. We haven't got any complaints from it, and we sell a large amount of the herb products, of the herb flower. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm happy that you chose. Um, that's Stormy Daniels, Melina Bishop, Stormy Daniels, CBD pre-roll, but, oh, okay, Margie, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, Nate said, ha I'm about video content. Yeah, as you can tell, that's why I just sit up here and talk to myself for two hours. <laughs> I don't talk to myself, guys, I'm just playing. I like to chat with you. That's why I like to get you guys involved. I don't know. Maybe it's like switch it up and do like a call-in thing. Like, like how Grant Cardone does it. Like, dude, every day I always a different segment. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. Like any, you know, things like different segments or different video content things that you would like to see on a weekly basis. If you have any ideas, just let me know. Because I would like, you know, I just, I just want to make sure that whatever we're doing, whenever we're going live, it is bringing value to you guys. So... Um, yeah, and, you know, notice some of the comments and questions and stuff start to die down. So I, I think some of the value is starting to go down in Wellness Wednesday and stuff for people. So I just kind of need to go back to the drawing board. And, you know, if it's scrapping Wellness Wednesday and doing something else, um, then, you know, whatever is going to be beneficial to you guys, it's just I, I just need to find something that's working. And, you know, I because it's like, you know, I incentivize the giveaways, but it's like I'm not just going to give away free CBD products to the same eight people every single week. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for, um, supporting us. Thank you all, um, for sharing, you know, asking questions. Um, well, I should say those of you guys that did share, thank you. Um, but yeah, guys, um, if you guys need anything, feel free to reach out. I'm always available for you guys. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be live on Friday at the same time. Hopefully I'll have the concentrates to be dabbing with you guys. I mean, like, look, guys, I even had, I even brought the handy dandy Rio with me today to, to dab some of the concentrates. And that, unfortunately, um, failed. Uh, Melina Bishop, I believe you've ordered from us uh, before. Um, if you have, if the address is the same, then I will ship it out to the same place. But Melina Bishop, if you know, you've know you ordered from us in the past and your address has changed, if you want Melina Bishop just to be safe, send me an email to hello at wellacy.com. Take a picture of your driver's license and then please type out your shipping address. Don't just send your license. Please type it out so I can just copy and paste the address. It really expedites the process. So again, Melina, just send that info to hello at wellacy.com. Photo ID, type out your shipping address. And then we will get it shipped out to you. Uh, well, thanks, Nate. I love the Wellesley fam. Y'all are in a great place with these gents. So thanks much. Love, Nate. Uh, but, yeah, guys. All right. And, yeah. Reach out if you need anything. Make sure you use that coupon code, guys. It expires this weekend. Coupon code Wellesley30. Okay? I'm going to type it in one more time. Wellesley30. Thir for thirty percent off all well let's see branded C B D products plus free shipping. Okay? Uh well let's see dot com. I'm gonna do this only applicable on well let's see products, okay? Just so everyone knows. And yeah, maybe and you get free shipping, so load up my gift to you guys because i love y'all so much and you guys are the best for supporting us stay safe out there have a great night guys and uh we'll see you all on friday